How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I have something very interesting. We have a new shop in the town of Batalon. Well technically it's in the social district but it's in Batalon. So um, yeah I'm firstly I'm going to show you where it is. Uh, this is the main um, entrance to Batalon I guess you could call it. Uh, here's the travel to Crystal and uh, what you want to do you want to make your way to the social district. Which is up here. Oh, there's, yep, there's always something new to do. Oh, fun, nice. <laughs> but yeah, you want to make your way over here and you want to go to uh, this door by here, this gate, and this should load you into the social district. Now, this district has the dance floor and all that, which you can probably tell up there. And the new shop is actually right by here. Now, this is kind of a mystery shop item, it's like a porn star shop. <laughs> But a lot more magical, I guess. So, um, yeah, we can actually go inside, and it is called the Oddities, which is a pretty cool name. And I'm stuck inside a torch. So, um, from here, it's not a very big place. Um, there's so many doors you can go through. And, um, yeah, we have a fortune teller, I think that's what. Yeah. What's my lucky number? My lucky number is 10. Uh, what's my lucky number? My lucky number is 16. She's not very consistent. I don't think she's actually real, but um, <laughs> but that's not why we're here. Now you can see there's a mysterious Johnson. Now um, we can talk to him, and he has a few items for sale. Now let's go to him and let's click on him, and there we go. We have two shops. So the first one is mysterious heads. Now you click on here, and you can see there's a lot of items, and I think this is the most expensive item in the game, a one million gold. So I can preview that, and it's a giant eye. So, by now you could probably have the gist of what like these items are. These are more of these weird, out of the world items. So the bush head, which <laughs> just just looks wrong to be honest with you, but hey, that's fine. Uh, the barrel head, which I kind of like, it's kind of cool. Um, the crate, the emperor's chest is really cool too. You got the nice chest on your head, people can open you up. Um, so yeah, this is full of just weird items. And um, yeah, not all of them cost DC. So you can see the barrel and the crate, they cost gold, the Trolloc, but um, yeah, they do have some for obviously DC. Where's the one I have? I bought this one. It's really cool. <laughs> I like it. Now I could show you every item, but that's going to take a while. I'm just going to show you one more and I'm going to show you the Monglin. Now it says note here, the Monglin head will match your skin color. So at the moment my skin color is, it, it's not perfect. It's kind of tint tinted a bit. Um, you can see my skin color if I can find. I probably can't. Wait, I think this has my yeah. Probably tell it's a it's a bit tinted, but it's it it's good. And that goes a well with the eye with the giant eyeball. There we go. But this one changes with your iris color. So obviously mine is white. So the eye is gonna be white. So um a lot of items to spend your gold on and DC if you have some. And um, yeah, these are not obviously immersive items, these are just for funds. Um, I do like the, where's it, the, where's the, ah, oh, there we go, I think this is it. Yeah, this dragon one. Though, if I buy it, I'm probably going to need to change the color of my skin, because it looks kind of poopy. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's got like a weird tint on it. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that, but um, yeah, we'll just have to see what colors work best. Might go with a red, I think a red dragon, or a black one, because that's kind of my logo. That's actually a good idea, Jake. Jake, do that. Yes. And But that's not the only shop we have, too. If we go down to the mysterious items, we will actually be able to buy a pet and a back item. And we can buy his outfit by here. And there's a few just weapons, I guess. These are not too cool, I guess. There's a cookie. A uh, fortune cookie, actually. And a whoopee, which I think is like a fart pillow thing. Not too sure. But now, here's the pet. Now, this pet's pretty cool. Because if you turn it, it's actually like 3D. I know the game's in 3D, but it's, I don't know what the word is, but it it's cool, it moves around, and that goes well with a cape, because the cape is basically the same thing, and um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool, these items are really well done, and it's nice to see them trying new things out, and um, yeah, it's a surprise, a little shop for everyone to go to to buy all this stuff, and the outfit too costs gold, which is nice, you know, I know people keep complaining about how there's not enough stuff to buy gold with, now we have a money dump for this, uh, I guess, this town, which is one million for the eye. I think the most expensive item before that was the Talon armor, which was 100k. 
and I'm pretty sure in the beta or alpha there was like those uh, there was other Talon armor sets that were pretty expensive and um, we also have a quest too you now these can get you some free stuff so like the um, unicorn at the bridge if we kill him 10 times we get the unicorn staff which I can't show you because again I can't preview quest items but um yeah if you want to know how to do these quests let me know and I'll make a video on them. So guys, uh, that's it for me. Um, I gotta say, this is new update is really cool. I like all the items. Not some of them, but most of them I do like. I kind of like the weird, out of the world, kind of mysterious items. As long as there's not too much in the game. But I think a shop like this is perfect. It reminds me of the uh, Rick and Morty episode, where there's the devil and he takes over the like pawn shop. And all the items are cursed. And um... Yeah, I really do like this new addition to the town, and I think it's a welcome one. Maybe later on we can have a couple of quests. But um, yeah guys, that it's, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.